Based down in Hertfordshire at the Elsenham Stud. Ben Mayer has produced some amazing international horses, including 2008 Beijing Olympic ride, Robin Hood W, and now recent Grand Prix winner in Spain, Triple X. A training base not just for horses, but also for riders as well. It has world-class facilities that help take him right to the top of his sport. And more importantly, prepare for international duty. It's been a... Uh... It's been a good year. Uh, we've had our ups and downs like horses always are, but Triple uh, X, well, I've had Robin Hood firstly, our best horse. He's been off with a few injuries and uh, so was trying to make a comeback soon, hopefully, but Triple X has come on. Uh, the championship in Madrid last year was a uh, good building, ready for a uh, potential London place this year. So we've had a few good results recently and um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. Valencia Grand Prix winner Triple X, home bred between Ben Mayer and the Quaint and Studs, is phenomenal. I believe in my horse. I had a plan from him already for the last year, almost to the wink, which shows he's doing. Um, and it's gone well. He's, he's come right at the right times. Uh, so I believe that we can have him uh, peaking at the right time. Um, and it's it's just all about results. It doesn't matter what you did a year or two years ago. It's about when you need it. And uh, and also it's a fine line between having them good enough to be selected and uh, saving some petrol on the horses that they're, they're not too tired if uh, I or anybody else was to meet the team. The FEI Nations Cup Series got underway in Europe in France. Ben Mayer and Triple X, this was the first opportunity for team performance manager Rob Herkstra to see them in action. I got a chance in Le Ball, the first one, um, and Nick Skelton did, and then they're slowly progressing sort of on to choosing different partnerships and seeing uh, who's ready, which horses are ready, uh, which combinations work best together, I think, and uh, I've only had one chance, so um, yeah, they've, they've used a wide variety of combinations trying to get the, the right team together, I think. One fence down in each round of the Nations Cup in Le Ball. A lot learned that day by Ben Mayer and the British team. And we're lucky enough to have Ben take us through those two rounds with his analysis. So um, number one was a pretty straightforward ox, and I went quite quick to number one for the time allowed. And there was a ditch here which he seemed to jump really well. He was A year ago he would have looked at that a little bit. Um, the Oxer, the double there, he jumped good. I was, I was worried always for the time allowed in Le Ball because I think it's important to make the time allowed to improve the score being the last rider to go. Uh, it was important if I didn't jump clear there was no point in me even jumping. So, And the line here with the three strides was very short for him. Which he jumped well. And this is not what I would normally do. I jumped the triple bar and they told me, the team told me to go six strides to the water, which normally should have been seven. And then nine strides afterwards, which he jumped. He jumped it absolutely fine. But uh, the problem was, I think the horse, Triple X, he got too long and a bit strong for the combination. And here he had the lightest of touches in the middle of the combination behind. Um, and then he finished up on the last two jumps really well. Uh, I was a bit disappointed because it's normally a, not a mistake he would have at all. But um, it's the thing with teams sometimes. I was planning to do seven strides. They told me to go six because they felt it was easier and uh, I perhaps should have just listened to what I would normally tell myself to do instead of the, the team manager, so to speak. So the second round was, uh, it's always more it's always actually easier with Triple X because he's much more confident. The more he jumps, the better he gets normally. Uh, again, the first three jumps, I rode exactly the same as I did in the first round. Um, it actually looks slower here, seeing it now on tape, than, uh, than the first round, but I think we were about the same for time. He's jumping really good. Um, now we're coming across the ring to the vertical and the next oxer I decided to take a slightly tighter angle to save some time, ready for making the extra stride for the water jump. Yeah, he jumps the three strides really well. And then here, the problem with the water that I was just 
trying to put across before was the six strides. I decided to go seven. And he did that just as easy as he did the six. He jumped the water well, and the next oxer was much more in control this time and with more height, which helps me prepare more for the combination. I decided to go much steadier in this time to the combination. He rarely would touch the same fence twice. And I don't know what happened here. He just, exactly the same as the first round. He was, I felt my distance was good. And he just touched the second last fence behind again on the vertical. I've jumped a number of rounds over the last few months and I don't think he's, he has too many jumps down behind. And on that day, he had two down behind. And uh, the ground was getting a little soft towards the end of the course. And obviously I was one of the later, rider to go, later riders to go. Um, I was pretty disappointed actually because I didn't think he should have done that but um, maybe he just wasn't feeling up to it. It wasn't our day unfortunately. It just seemed to drift a tiny bit to the left. And he actually, it looks like he actually hit it with his stomach. Maybe I was a bit too far away looking on the slow motion there actually. It's always rider error, it's never the horse. Team Performance Manager for Great Britain, Rob Herkstra, trying out a whole host of combinations in the FEI Nations Cup Series that kicked off in Le Ball. The riders this year, a whole different group of combinations getting their chance to make the British team. From double clears in Rome, from Scott Brash to Tim Stockdale double clear in St Garland, there have been many opportunities for a whole host of riders to potentially make that Olympic squad. It's also been about building team spirit between a whole host of riders and the most recent round in Rotterdam. Good performances from Peter Charles leave Rob Herkstra with a whole host of options. We've had a number of issues in the past with uh, the team struggling to work as a team, but um, Madrid last year was uh, the best team I've been on, I think, as far as everybody willing to get the right result and in the end it showed we wouldn't have won a medal there unless we were working like we did as a team. I've only really been on the Le Ball Nations Cup since then and it was the same feeling there. We actually didn't perhaps produce as good a result as we needed but uh, we were trying new things. So yeah, I think we've come on a lot in the last few years and just from my experience of teams it's a, it's a very good feeling at the moment. Ben Mayer is one of the few riders with Olympic experience, but none of the riders have got experience of riding at Olympic Games on home turf in Great Britain. Going back to Beijing, it's the same. Uh, it's still an arena. There's still the jumps in there. It's still, you have to leave the jumps up. Nothing really changes. Um, and I think it's important uh, for me in that position anyway. I just try and focus on what the job is in hand, and that is to try and leave the the jumps up and jump clear rounds. In London, I guess, there's going to be other pressures with so many people around that you know. There's going to be media pressures, things like that. But I think that Team GBR have got people in place to manage and control all of those to allow the, the riders to concentrate on their job. And I think that they are prepared for every scenario.